now we have a question three on the screen number uh, question number three on the screen that is how is a pinnately compound leaf different from a palmately compound leaf we have to differentiate between these two types of leaves that is pinnately compound leaves and palmately compound leaves so first of all if we talk about the pinnately compound leaves then the pinnately compound leaves are the leaves in which the leaflets are attached to a common axis leaflets are attached to the common axis and the common axis is known as rhesus if you talk about the example then we have a neem in neem you can see the arrangement of leaves is found in such manner where you can see this is a floral axis sorry this is a leaf axis on which the leaves are attached this is a common axis this is a common axis on which the leaves are attached like this so this common axis in the pinnately compound leaves is known as rhesus is known as rhesus right so in pinnately compound leaves the leaflets are present or attached to a common axis these common axes are known as rhesus the example for that we have is neem now let's talk about the another type of leaf that is palmately compound leaf in this type of leaves all the leaflets are attached at the common point present on the stalk leaflets when are uh, attached at a common point present on the stalk then these kind of leaves are known as palmately compound leaves for example we have cannabis Canna cannabis plant is having palmately compound leaves in it let's write the answer first we are going to talk about pinnately compound leaf in this type the leaflets are attached on a common axis on a common axis this axis is known as rhesus we have example uh, we have figure for that and for example we have neem plant neem plant is an example for pinnately compound leaves if we talk about what is palmately compound leaves palmately compound leaves so in this type in this type the leaflets the leaflets are attached at a common point at a common point on a stalk right in this type of leaves the leaflets are attached at a common point on the stalk these kind of leaves are known as palmately compound leaves example we have for this is cannabis cannabis plant if we want if you want to draw the structure of palmately compound leaves then it would look like this a common stalk is present over there on the common stalk on the common stalk we have a common point suppose this is a stalk this is a common point and on this point the leaves are attached the leaves are attached 
like this. These kind of arrangement of leaf is said to be palmately compound leaves where all the leaflets are attached at the common point present on the stalk. Example we have for this is cannabis plant. So this is a complete solution of question number 3.